For the first time since 2014, Iowa is seeing fewer repeat offenders head back to jail. And KCAU 9's Nick Wilson spoke to people from both sides of the prison system to learn what changes inside and out of jail are helping people turn their lives around. It's our top story at 6. Tim and Sophie, once a person enters the prison system, some say staying out is harder than it seems. Two former Siouxland prisoners said watching other inmates return to jail made them doubtful they could stay out of trouble. I even went back myself. So I was a skeptic on, I was like, you know, once you're in, you're in. It was just tough for me to see and to accept. But once I got there, I knew that if I didn't make a change, I would be back too. Junior Lovejoy went to prison for OWI charges. He says Woodbury County's license reinstatement payment plan helped him find work once he got out of prison. I'm just so grateful for that because otherwise I won't be able to do the, uh, the things I do today, you know, whether drive out of town or do the jobs I do. Brian Corey was in and out of prison four times in ten years for drug crimes, but the prison's programs have helped him retake control of his life. I'm dealing with my emotions on a whole different level because um, the only emotion that I ever dealt with before was anger and I just let it out. That's the only way I dealt with it. That was the only way I knew how to deal with it. Will Meyer is a juvenile probation officer for Woodbury County. He says programs such as the 12-step program, which has helped Brian, or the CAPS program, which has helped Junior, are great, but they need the community to help them stay on the right path. Uh, people are going to get out, and they probably get out a lot quicker than what you think. And um, we need community involvement. We need places for these guys to live. We need um, places for these guys to work. Once they're out of jail, former convicts face many obstacles on their path, but Meyer hopes community resources can help keep people on the right track. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.